but we're going to talk about the Ice Cube. What do you think about what is happening right now with Ice Cube? See, per- personally, I feel like Ice Cube has the right idea because Ice Cube, he, he understands that like no matter what happens, Donald Trump is the president. So if you need something done today, he, will, he, he is in a much better position to help. And when, when it comes to like, uh, like the, the contract for Black America and the thing that he's trying to do, I, I feel like he, he's right to do what he's doing, basically, like going, going to work with whoever is really. Yeah, but people are saying you cannot, you cannot try to work with a racist person. Somebody don't actually respect Black people. Somebody don't, you know, you don't care about Black people. Somebody's racist. How can you try to even expect anything good from him? Personally, I do believe that Trump, or at least his policies have been racist. However, I also believe that he needs votes, right? So as a politician who needs votes to win, he, he will obviously be willing to work with people. And when it comes to like the idea of how can you work with the, with the racist and things like that, at the end of the day, this is not the first time that Black people have been hated. And it's, it, it won't be the last time as well. So if you wait for the whole world to love you before you start doing like things you need to do, obviously you're going to wait for your whole lives and your lives of kids and like your grandkids. You can't wait for everyone to love you. But if you feel like doing a certain thing will even help you take one step further to like the, the good of your people, you need to do it. So the, saying that he's working with racists and stuff, because uh, Nancy Pelosi is not better. Joe Biden is not better, especially if you bring their records on black people. So, yeah, but black people don't understand it. Actually, people they just like a lot of people actually they don't they don't see things that way. And see, it's I, the same I, thing. I just I was telling you about like um, like you gotta find like what you actually good for you in terms of like your what is your profit? What are you going to get out of it? It's like, the thing is like 50 cent. It was against Trump. And now the fact, all the money, the tax and everything, you know, it's going to affect his money. Now you don't think about the, the, the Black Lives Matter anymore. You don't think about racism anymore. You just like think about his own money. Like, you know what? I'm not going to go for this guy because they're going to affect my pocket. And this is what I was telling you at the start. Like, when it comes to politics, but, they're all dirt, but people have to go for whatever they feel like. Yeah, however. You know, gonna, they're going to get something out of it, yeah. Yeah, but but the the thing with Fifty Cent is to me is different from Ice Cube because for Fifty Cent is it's an individual thing. So that that's why I was trying to tell yeah, but it's like individual. The, but the, you have the a, other guys. You have a, like a big impact. You know, when somebody like him says something like that, even the president actually he put it on his Facebook and on Instagram, everything because he kind of gonna make a lot of people kind of switch the side because it's like you know what it's, I mean. It's a, it's a big thing for... They're not going to say it's crazy, for, but gonna start, you know, people are going to start having those conversations, you know, start thinking. It's, it's, a big, it's a big thing for Trump, but how many, how many um, 50 Cent fans make more than 450000 a year? Not many, are they? No, not many. Exactly. But, so, so 50 Cent is speaking for himself, but when they cut those taxes for the rich people, the 1%, it's not going to help a guy who works in Burger King. It's not going to help a guy who like works a day shift or something or a night shift somewhere. So when Fifty Cent, like when when he does something like that, to me it's a I find it a bit selfish. Yeah, but for yeah. Ice Cube, for Ice Cube, it's not selfish because like he's he like I don't know what is in the contract for Black America, but I assume that it's to <laughs> is to help a large amount of people. But for fifty cents, it's for himself. Yeah, but the and thing what, the, what and, fifty and, and is doing, the, what fifty the, the is doing, the one percent as well. Yeah, what fifty do, is doing. You, look, you only touch the money side because this is the part that you actually affect him. But the poor people, they might find another things that actually can benefit them in certain way. That's what I'm trying to say to you. 
So people choose whatever they choose. It's not only it's not always because somebody is white or somebody is racist. It's because of what they're gonna find out of it. No, no, no. It's it's not that. I've, I, like, uh, but I'm, but that's the reason why you see a lot of people been voting for Democrat for many years. But they, they they've been doing that without even expecting anything. Just like for them, it's just like in their mind, like they're on our side. That's no, but 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 the the way that black people came to to vote for Democrats. It's not because they did nothing for them. Democrats are the only people who gave black people the right to vote. Mm. I didn't know. Yeah, that, be, yeah, because the 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 thing is. Um, uh, give me one second. Yeah, so it's it's what I was talking about, like the um, the the like Republicans becoming Democrats. So, because like they, there used to be this party called the the Whigs, right? So there were the Whigs and uh, and the Democrats. Democrats were pro slavery, pro everything. But then the Whigs started to look at to to look at the things like they were like, if we if we let slavery stay, right? Yeah. You have black people who are working for free, so white people are never going to get these jobs because black people are doing them under slavery, right? So they 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 try to break to break up like slavery in terms of like so white people can get those jobs. It didn't work. That's how the Republican Party came to be. So then Lincoln became president, and he he allowed the Southerners to keep the slaves, but he like his idea was that any any new state in the united states of america that didn't didn't have slavery cannot have slavery right then what ended up happening the the like 11 states from the south they decided to like like break away from from the union yeah that's how the civil war started but then after that well obviously they lost it after that you have Republicans who signed a law, I think it was in 1886, the, the 13th Amendment, allowing black people to kind of vote, kind of be free and all that. But I feel, that, like, I feel like they owe them something or they are attached based on history. Yeah, yeah. But then th those were Republicans at the time. Then fast forward all the way to, but then, yeah, to, to, make, to make this short, you had like these people who benefited a lot from the war, from like the, the, the civil war. So these are now rich people of the time. They start to become like the leaders of the Republican Party. At this time, they're like, okay, this is a majority white nation. It makes no sense for us to keep fighting for black people in a majority white nation. So they kind of forgot black people. Fast forward all the way to the 1920s with the, with the depression in America, a Democrat comes in power. Uh, what was his name? Uh, FDR, Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. When he came in power, he started to do, like he started to allow the federal government to be involved, to start things like the, the social, social security and all that, which is where these Republicans started to say, oh, this is big government. This is where the term big government that Republicans keep using come from in the 1920s. So they oppose everything that can help the people all the way to the 1960s where the, the civil rights again come back. Now, all this time, black people have been Republicans. But in this time, you have a guy called uh, Jerry Goldwater, someone. He was the Republican nominee who opposed... Damn, you know a lot about this, man. He got all the names and everything. <laughs> Yeah, so this guy, he was the one, as I say. <laughs> he, he, see, th this is why I was telling the guy, like, anything I say, you can look up. It's yeah, because we, we live in a different so, time now. Yeah, you know? so, so when, get, when, or funded, what, people, people get funded when you leave, when you don't leave to the country and you feel like, they feel like you know much. And sometimes it come across, like, you know, like when people talk about Africa, or whatever. Uh, yeah, like, but like if, yeah, if, if, if we don't better when you come to yeah, Africa, but, if, people, but if, if if something is public knowledge, you can't just be like uh, stating your opinion instead of facts. So the, this guy uh, Goldwater, he's a he's a Republican. He's running against uh, Lyndon B. Johnson. Mm. He's trying his best to keep black people from voting. Right? He opposes. The, the, the Bill of Rights, which would allow black people to vote. 
and he mm. keeps saying that it would be big governments like in for, in, uh, bringing like big government into the, the people's lives. Guess who signs the rights that gives black people the right to vote? A Democrat. This, uh, Lyndon B. Johnson, which made now all black people flip from Republicans to Democrats. And then you have, you have the Democrats in the South become Republicans because Republican now is the place that hates black people. So that, that, that was, uh, if you can look it up online, it's something called the political alignment of the 1964. That, that's how black people ended up becoming Democrats all, all this time until now. So when people say, oh, black people vote for Democrats and they don't give them anything, they are the ones who give them the rights to vote to begin with. And all this yeah, but the time- thing is, that, that was that time, but the thing is, things are changing right now. They give them the, the right to vote, but maybe they give them the right to vote because they want to send people to empower the party. And that's how it's working as well. They give them the right to vote. And now yeah. those people like, because believe it or not, and look, they vote for like you. 80% of black people, like they vote for Democrat without even thinking. They just like, they just, because we do it all the time. And the other yeah. side is the enemy and that's how it works. And that, the, maybe that was the reason why it was worth for them, giving them that, the, those right to vote. You never know. That's why today they're so attached to them. Well, so that, it's, not, it's that, not really like, uh, oh yeah, because we love you guys, we care about you. That's why. No, we no, 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 no. It's not that. It's because obviously the 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 civil rights movement of the sixties were causing too much problems, and when you add the Vietnam War and everything, like they had to give black people something. Yeah. So it's not it's not out of love. The same way that when Republicans freed slaves, it was not out of love. It was so that white people can get those jobs and then they can yeah. pay them. Yeah, so I'm not saying Democrats did it out of love. However, this was what made black people flip to the Democrat. But as you said, things have changed. And to, at this day and age in 2020, people need to ask for more. They need to like they need to be like ice cube and say yeah you either my, my vote has to count for something and i i, I understand it but I, I don't see how this whole thing is going to end anyway